Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to customize the password reset email that is sent to your users when you use this action right here, send password reset email. You can find this under the account list of actions right there. So you can see obviously by default Bubble pre-fills the body of the email with this text but you can easily edit it um, to be whatever you want for your application. What you're not seeing in this body is the unique link that Bubble generates um, and includes in the email um, as soon as it's sent. So that link will actually take the user to the reset password page. This is one of your built-in pages. Every app has one. Um, and it's the only page that allows you to reset a user's password. So included in the URL is a token. And it's a uniquely generated token that allows Bubble to check uh, for two things. Number one, if the user has reset their password before. Uh, so this is a one-time use link. And then number two, to make sure that we're resetting the password for the right person. So when we generate a token, we're only generating it for this email address. If some other user tries to reset it with that token, it's just not going to work. Okay, so you're not seeing the link here. Um, Bubble will insert that for you as soon as the email is sent. Um, it will get added to the email at the very end of your content here. But if you wanted to customize this process a little bit more and maybe not send this email quite yet, but you do want to generate a token, uh, you can do that by uh, checking this box here. This email will not get sent, but let's say you have some other actions that, that need to happen first uh, that might contain some data that you want to insert into the body of the email. Uh, and then let's say you want to send your own custom email later on. Okay, So just pretend that we have other actions in between these two here you can take the result of this step, which is just generating a token, and then construct your reset password link yourself. So really what you'll wanna do is website home URL, which is your base domain, okay? So if your app is myapp.com, uh, then that's what this will insert, not, not any pages. Um, doesn't even matter what page you're on when you trigger this. Website home URL is always just your base URL. And then you'll want to add the path to the reset password page, which is reset underscore PW, like that. Okay, that's this one right here. And then you want to add a parameter to add the token. So to um, add parameters, you start them off with a question mark like that. And our parameter key is the word reset. And our value is going to be the token, which is just the result of this step here, step one. Okay. Um, this will insert the unique token. It's just a you know random string of numbers and letters, uh, but this will allow the user to go to that reset password page and reset their password. Um, and Bubble will do those two checks to make sure they haven't reset it before and we're doing it for the right person. I'll add this link structure again a little bit bigger on the string, but that's all you have to do to customize this whole process a bit is to simply check this checkbox. That way it'll generate the token. It will not send this email and you can move on with your workflow um, to modify your database or show some messages on the screen for the user, whatever you need to do before you actually do send the email. Or even if you just need to display the link uh, in some other way. It doesn't have to be provided in an email. It might be uh, just sent to a group with a text element or even saved to a text field in some record in your database. If you have any comments or questions, leave one below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Of course, subscribe to the channel. I upload videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching.